Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics. Now, we're gonna kind of blend uh, a little bit of something that we've touched on a couple of, across a couple videos. All right, uh, if we remember, strings are immutable. A B C D E D E F G all right, so we got we got a couple of vowels and a couple of consonants. So all right, now uh, last week I think we did in and not in. Okay, so vowels a e i o u. So all right, now if we recall, we can slice a string, but we can't replace a string you cannot reassign because if, if you can remember why and what the word was immutable strings are immutable so we can't change the string but we can use parts of it so let's let's do something pretty quick here for I and S do this if I not in if I didn't really declare my new string because in the last video we talked about that we have to declare first and if, since it's going to be a string now I want to I don't think we've touched on this this is still a string let me show you even though it is an empty string it's still a string Let's get this up so you can see it. That's our dir. Let's do our type. So it's still a string, even though it has a length of zero. So all right, let's check out all our variables. So all right, we got our new new s new string string our vowels. So for i in S if I not in vowels gonna take new string because last video increment by I so all right let's go over what I did here okay all right, let's go through this step by step. Let's call vowels. Let's call string, and then let's do new string so we can see it all. What in the world it did? All right, this is just the variable that I used when I was reading and studying. So okay. All right, so here's our s. So here's our group. So for i in s, it's going to loop through this until we get done. All right now so what I did here is we could have also done this with a uh, equal to and not equal but uh, how would I show you that in a second that you can do this with um, it actually uh, I would just stick with the vowels all right so if it's in vowels it's a vowel right now what I did is I looped through our string of ABC at the first uh, what seven letters a, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then I only added to the string if it was not a vowel. So if I not in, so if it is not a vowel, follow these instructions. If it was a vowel, we didn't do anything. We didn't give any set of instructions. So it just failed out and then went back up to the new loop. So this is a way that you can increment with strings because we cannot we cannot we can slice them we can add to them we can add a string to the end of it but we cannot replace it so this is a workaround a way that we can do this this is a way you can increment through a string so all right 
Hope you guys are getting some out of this. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.